Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Supreme Dragon of Hidden Dragon coming at you today with my updated Necroz deck profile for the April ban list. Don't forget, like, subscribe buttons are down below. Leave a comment with what you think of my deck uh, build for this format. Leave a comment with what you think of this format in general coming up. And be sure to check us out on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for all our Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And uh, be sure to check out the Facebook, eBay, and DavidAdamsCarWorld.com. Links are in the description down below. Alright, so for this upcoming version, I will be running three Colossalists. Ditch this. Search out your spell cards. Oh, let me go back. Just in case y'all don't know what Colossalist does as a monster. Uh, anything that was special summoned from the extra deck once per turn during either player's turn, you can negate. Uh, you can uh, use its effect to make that monster's attack zero and negate its effect. Three Unicorn. You can ditch this to add one Necroz monster from your graveyard back to your hand. As a monster, uh, it negates anything that was special summoned from the extra deck. Uh, two copies of Bryo, since we're down to two now. Discard this, search out any Necroz card, period. Or Necroz monster, excuse me. And if it was, and if it's used, uh, if it's on the field, that's monster effect is you can bounce back two cards that were summoned from the extra deck. Two Gungnir. Uh, I recently upped this to two. Uh, I've been playtesting it, really loving it at two. Uh, what this does is you can discard it and protect any Necroz monster from being destroyed by battle or card effects for that turn. If it's on the field as a monster during either player's turn, you can discard one Necroz card and pop one card on the field. Three Valk. Discard this card and banish one Necroz uh, card from your graveyard. Negate the, uh, negate and uh, end the battle phase. As a monster, you can tribute up to two monsters from field or hand to draw two cards. Two Trish. Uh, when this card is sum uh, summoned, banish one card from hand, field, and grave. You have to have one card in all three spots in order to activate its effect. If there's no cards in hand, you can't use its effect. If there's no cards on the field, you can't use it. Or if there's no cards in graveyard, you can't use it. Or you can discard this card and uh, your uh, Necroz card cannot be targeted that turn. One Decisive Armor. This gives them a thousand attack boost uh, and defense boost when you discard it. Its mo uh, monster effect is uh, once per turn you can banish one face down card your opponent controls. Uh... I've cut sure it to two because I found that running at three kind of became a little cloggy and unnessary. Two works just fine. Uh, you can use this card for the entire uh, ritual card summoning, whether you use it from hand or banish it from graveyard. And when you do uh, discard it, or when it's used for the from the hand, you get to search out one warrior type uh, Necroz monster from your deck. One Dance Princess. Uh, when she is used, uh, when she is summoned, your opponent cannot respond to your spell cards until they've dealt with her. And then when she's uh, sent to the graveyard, you can get one of your banished uh, Necroz back. So that's really good. We got three Manju. Uh, this lets you grab any ritual spell or ritual monster that you need. Three man, three Senju. This lets you grab any ritual monster you need. Two Gishki Chain. This lets you look at the top three cards of your deck, and if there is a ritual monster or spell, you can reveal it and add it to your hand, and then put the other two cards back in any order. Or if there's not any you want to reveal, you can put them back in any order you want. The Lone Tour Guide, because we are running the gen, so that's just another way to get to the gen. Uh, I run two gens in the main deck. One is for the Tour Guide, and one is just in, is for... Uh, the Lavalval chain play, so that gives me options in case if I go through one early, I have another one late game if need be. And two Danko Seika, just in case I run into some of those random uh, back row decks, so that way I can uh, protect against that. Does it for the monsters for spells. Two Kaleido Mirror, uh, you can send one from your extra deck and summon up to as many monsters as equal to the stars you sent 
or you can send or you tribute one from your hand to ritual summon. Two mirror you can use from your hand or banish from the graveyard to summon. Two cycle this lets you summon one from hand or graveyard using monsters on field or in your or in your hand as the uh, requirements for the ritual summon. Also, if you have no monsters on field, you can banish any one of the mirrors and any other Necroz monster to add a, one mirror to hand. Got the one copy of Preparation of Rites, because that's all we're allowed to have now. Uh, add any level 7 or lower ritual monster, and if there's a ritual spell in your graveyard, add that to hand as well. Uh, the one Raigeki to clear off the field and for like the mirror match in case you've run into the gen lock yourself. Book of Moon uh, to provide a little also for the of the gen lock and to help with uh, getting uh, problematic cards out of the way. Two Eclipse again for the gen lock and getting rid of problematic cards out of the way. And the two traps I run is two Mind Crush. Because being able to look into your opponent's hand when they search, get rid of all those cards is really good. Plus, it gives you an idea of kind of what they're playing as well and what. Uh, what their uh, strategy is so that way you can kind of plan around that uh, for my extra deck I run one number 17 Leviathan Dragon so when I go tour guide and grab my gen I can put my gen into the graveyard get that ready for that uh, number 80 to get rid of any kind of cards in the graveyard that uh, you may need to get rid of cowboy for that extra burn damage for game always good Abyss Dweller, because effects in Graveyard are bad. Digusto Emerald, to recycle uh, your Necroz monsters. Lavalo Chain, to set up uh, either what you want to draw next turn or to get your gin in the Graveyard. Exoton Knight, because blowing stuff up is fun. Diamond Dire Wolf, again, uh, to get rid of any one problematic card on the field. Castell to return any uh, problematic monster to the deck. 103, in case they decide to gain attack, you can just detach one, destroy that card, and draw a card off of it. And then for the uh, ritual summoning part of the deck, uh, 2 Herald of Arcolite. When this card is sent for the ritual summon, add one ritual uh, spell or monster from your deck to your hand. I run one Shooting Star Dragon for the uh, 10 play of uh, either Gungnir and uh, Colossalus or uh, Bryo and um, Unicorn. Sorry. Star Eater for the 11 plays, which there are several. <laughs> Uh, there's three actually. There's the Colossalus and, uh, well, y'all know them. And Five Headed Dragon for the 12 play. And now for my side deck, the third Danko, two Effect Veilers, two Max C's, the third Shuret, just in case I need it, Artifact Lancia, just in case. Excuse me. Uh, dark Hole, because again, you want to get yourself out of that lock as fast as possible. Uh, three MSTs, just in case uh, I run into any extra back row problems. And my personal choice for this deck two copies of Secret Village of the Spellcasters. That way, if you can go ahead and drop either. Dance Princess or Unicorn to start with. They're all they're both spellcasters, so you do that. Activate that. They can't get, activate any spell cards whatsoever until they have a control of spellcaster or get rid of yours. So that's very kind of hard to do. And finally, for traps, just two debunks, just for uh, random stuff and mainly for the mirror match. Alright, so that does it for my uh, Necroz deck profile. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons are down below. Don't forget to leave a comment with what you think of uh, 
my upcoming build for Necros for this upcoming format. Don't forget to like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check us out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for our, our Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And check out eBay, Facebook, and DavidAdamsCarworld.com. All their links are in the descriptions down below. And this is Supreme Dragon, one half of Hidden Dragon, signing out.